everyone, last time I abandoned you on the tarmac like one would a senile incontinent grandmother in a supermarket car park. After selling the antiques and changing the furniture, I'm back to introduce you to that nice Dr. Kervokian. Welcome to Explain Explained, this time I'm covering flight plan creation. If you want to create semi-realistic looking flight plans, you can always take a look at Simbrief. Now that I've cropped out the embarrassing tabs, I'll show you the website and how it works. It's all free. Create a profile, click on Dispatch and create a new flight plan. Enter the ICAOs for your departure, arrival and alternate airports. Enter date, time, airframe and click Analyze Route. You can also enter fuel and any other details you deem appropriate, but it's not required. You end up with a flight plan and map with the navigation aid plotted along its route. You also have an alternate airport should it be required. Once inside the cockpit, press the FPL button of the G530. Your starting airport will be highlighted, so click the outer knob on the right, giggity, to select the next waypoint. Use the inner knob to cycle through and select letters, and use the outer knob to move the cursor. Rinse and repeat until you've entered the full code for the navigation aid, then press enter and enter again to accept. Now you'll see the heading and distance, and on the right that's not a countdown to ejaculation, it's the cumulative distance. Rinse and repeat the process for the remaining waypoints, and eventually you'll get to the destination airfield. There's no way to set up an alternate destination on a G530 flight plan, so the easiest way is to set up a separate flight plan with directions from your intended destination to your alternate. This probably begs the question, why would you need an alternate? There are a number of reasons. These reasons can range from a missed approach to bad weather to an accident at the airfield, to the Waterford chapter of ISIS taking over the airport and the pilot wishing to avoid the nasty experience of a Syrian crew cut. When you're done, press menu, use the outer knob to select save flight plan and press enter. Now you can look at your flight plan in all its glory. There are a few things such as departure and arrival menus and vertical navigation which I've set aside for now. I want to keep this as concise and accessible as possible. Yes, I know some of you are absolute fucking geniuses. However, I also know that some of you are a couple of inbred retards short of a European royal dynasty. On that aristocratic note, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.